is this man's journey through his entire life. That's a great lick, lick for this, and that is. And it's a love story. It's an exploration of the music of Paul Simon through music, dance, and theater. Yeah, absolutely. The title comes from a Paul Simon song, which is very, very popular and timeless, something so right. He tells stories, and he tells them beautifully. Stop! And go. His path in this piece is to find that something so right. To use music, to use dance, and to use theater in ways and so that dancers are speaking words and, and musicians are, are singing and playing instruments and saying words and actors are dancing and, and so that this is being told, uh, the story is being told in a way that's completely unique and new. Some folks' lives roll easy. Some folks' lives never roll at all. The athleticism of Lara Dance is now walking side by side with the human aspect and they're really just uh, uh, both enhancing each other. It's a weird angle facing in, so do this and get yourself facing out. All of these songs are each a story, but it's all Paul Simon lyrics and works, and that's his storytelling ability that I think is so appealing. Well, they'll just want to really? keep above it before the curtain oh, okay. rises. Okay. In today's artistic climate, so many things are being cross-cultured and, and cross-pollinated, if you would. And it's just great to bring two different artistic forces together, well, in this case, three different forces together, to create this one glorious product that couldn't have been done by anyone. What these are right here is the slat walls, the framing for the band. Um, the metallic finish is already done on these. This raw wood has two coats of the high gloss sealant, so this is going to pick up light very well. Well, I've thought since I first came here 14 years ago that one of the things we naturally would do would be put emphasis on new creative work when we could. And we've done a lot of new things for the community, but we've never had the possibility of doing something quite like this. Tom saw an opportunity with this idea that Randy and I brought to the table. We simply wanted to facilitate the creative effort. We started that way, October, almost a year and a half ago now. It's perfect. The Center for the Arts is really, we firmly believe the only place in Buffalo that we could have done this to this level and got this much support. First moment is this, it's to us. At the start of Hazy Shade of Winter, but that may change because all these shifted down. I loved her the first moment I saw her. You know, it's an old songwriting cliche. Loved her the first time I saw her. Can't describe it any other way. Cool. Like that, okay. yeah. We very much feel that UB's theater, UB Center, should be at every level part of the community. We've put a lot of emphasis on community outreach. The 28th, 29th, and 30th, we are opening it up to students to observe the, sh the, the rehearsals in, on the main stage. Any audience, from, from an audience that likes the more abstract dance to an audience that likes the more clear-cut musical theater, I think they all will get elements that they enjoy. Takes a lot of nerve. Has somebody to love you. You got a lot of nerve. Not to each other. I think it's something they're gonna walk out of here feeling pretty good about what they've seen. But I also think it's something unique and something that they can't see anywhere else.